fork got it pretty good. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Go ahead and show you guys how the garage is looking. It's super unorganized right now, but uh, I'm going ahead and getting this all cleaned up slowly but surely and have an official little shop thing with Bob going on. You guys are probably wondering what happens to a bike when it crashes like this. Oh. No! I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of walk around of the damage that happened to Red Hook Honda's bike. You're probably wondering why there's a pickaxe in there too. We actually just used the pickaxe to drag the bike out of the truck. Some of the main damage right here, that fork got it pretty good. As soon as it impacted the ground, it snapped it instantly, I guess. You can see it's bent right here. Look at that little wrinkle. She's crazy. Uh, the radiator's got a radiator cage. That thing would have been destroyed if it wasn't for that, I'm pretty sure. And then usually I, I like to check the frame right around here for any kind of uh, dents or anything, which I don't see anything. This cage did pretty pretty damn good job. Um, it's on point. I broke the slider right here, so that's going to be a bitch and a half trying to put a new one in. Which isn't possible realistically because the hole that the slider slides into isn't as is smashed in, so can't put a new one in. Maybe you can, I don't know how they work. And right here we have the uh, stator case, which is cracked. That was from when it hit the top of the fucking wall. <laughs> Crazy as shit. We found a piece of the stator case like sitting on top of the wall, so we know that's for sure what made this break. Gas tank did okay. Uh, the clutch got shaved down pretty damn good. Same with the brake lever. It's a Brembo 16 by 18 brake lever, which was off my old bike Helga. I'm gonna go ahead and say this thing's toast though. Good 20 crashes in the book. And the headlight got scraped up pretty good. I like scraped so hard that it like melted. Front brake's okay. I don't really know. It has no pressure, but I'm not sure if it's a leak or something. Maybe. There's like a little fluid right there. And then I gave him a fender, but that was off the old silver and red F4i. That's all that's left of it. RIP fender. Then we have the exhaust, which I think it's supposed to be swiveled on around. I don't know. Basically, this end connects to here. I don't think the exhaust is toast. I think we're just going to cut it and have it sticking out right there rather than having the full long pipe go right there. Back rim is pretty fucking gnarly, too. I think got peeled like a banana. See that thing just wraps all around. And obviously the tire came off the bead and all that jazz. The front rim would have been okay if it wasn't for that little dent right there, which actually is pretty big. But yeah, the snapping of the fork's pretty fucking crazy. Uh oh yeah, this is the main coper right here. This iPhone sucks with the lighting, it cuts on and off. As you can see, this 12 bar, I think it scraped on this side initially, right there. And then it did like a flip and smacked this side. But luckily, they made a good uh, design on this, so you can just unbolt this part, pull this off, and then put a new one on. But as for the subframe, it's a steel tube subframe by On Point as well. It did its job. I mean, it looks pretty straight to me. That's for like the swing arm and the sprocket. The sprocket's probably bent now that I'm looking at it. But 
might get lucky with the axle. Yeah, it looks bent right there for sure. I mean, other than that, basically the assessment on the damage, it's gonna need new forks, triple trees, most likely, front rim, uh, new clutch lever, handbrake, take this off and buy a new one or just leave it off, don't use one at all. And then a back rim and a sprocket, I'd say. So, and you guys, for you guys that don't know bike parts and all that stuff, oh yeah, and fix this exhaust up. Basically, you're looking at, I don't know, like two to four hundred dollars for the front end. And then, exhaust you can do yourself. The rear rim, I think they were about a hundred bucks. Get a hookup on a tire. So it's like $500 right there, and then you got your little things like your clutch lever, which you can get for like 40 bucks or less. And then you got your case cover, which is like another 60 bucks or so. So yeah, it's about $600 in damage just to get it back on the road riding. There's some other parts you could put on it to uh, make it better or whatever. But I mean, for the type of crash it was, I think that's pretty damn good. And this bike has no oil at all really so i'm just gonna go ahead and do like a quick turnover to see if the bike even runs before we start tearing it apart and getting that far into it so this is my first attempt to get it to start we'll see how it goes all right well, oh shit can't get these little buggers to click all right moment of truth Turn over a couple times. Alrighty. With that sound, there's hope. Time to get to rebuilding. Where your gear, people? As much damage as this bike received, he only uh, has a couple scrapes, so. Wear them fucking helmets, wear them jackets, wear all that shit, because it does save you. Right Hook Honda will be back though. Got more videos to make for you guys, but uh, ride safe and keep it dank. Later. Yeah, I like to keep it mellow.